in the studios of Love Nights at Upon 5 for this morning's conversation on Love in the Morning. Time checks on 27 minutes to hit 8 o'clock. I've got some two fanties with me in the studio, sir, and they're, they're <laughs> singing to this song from <laughs> Kofi Kidnata, Fake Uma Love. But before I introduce you to those fanty guys, uh, ladies first, I've got uh, Patricia <laughs> David. Hi, darling. How are you doing? I'm good. Yourself? I'm blessed. You look good in your, your shirt. Okay, thank you so much. You look good in your shirt. I like, I like it. I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I appreciate that. The fact, I appreciate the fact that you love my shirt. Yeah, it looks good on you. It blends mm. with your dark skin color, you know. I <laughs> see. Fake my love. Fake my love. This is fake my love. Fancy you crack yourself. Eric Kinku. Bossu. Uncle Robert Nene. Mohadi. Mohadi. But you were singing to the song, eh? Yeah, sure. Every lyric, every every. Meaning, baby. I see. Oh yeah, yeah. Why not? Doctor Peter Arthur. Yes, sir. He's also right here with us in the studio. Love nine star point five. Uncle Mohadi. Good morning. Bye bye then. So our listeners out there, well, you know, the twenty twenty three Love FM High School debate is set. To start on Monday at the traditional grounds, call it the traditional venue, the Christian Service University College, my alma mater. Or, uh, yeah. And <laughs> you know, the launch and the balloting for the contest was held yesterday, Wednesday, and making it possible for schools to get to know which schools they will be competing uh, with and, of course, the motions that they will be debating upon. Now, this year's competition has new entrants. Like the rich school, is it rich? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like rich school, nineteen sixty-six. And then I said, "You're in your high school, Kes. Your alma mater. Yeah, he's an so, old boy. So, I'll have another one today. Yeah, no, 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 don't worry. I just mentioned two. We'll be okay. talking about a few more. Mm-hmm. So, I'll have in the morning this morning. We want to talk about, you know, the high school debate starting mm-hmm. on Monday. All that you need to know about it, because we're introducing a few things. Now we know it's going to enhance and make it more competitive and more exciting. Uh, and so we'll be telling you about all those new introductions okay. as well. But as you listen to us, I mean, you've been following us. This is about the fifth edition, because mm-hmm. we started in 2018, where we had TI Mass winning. Then we went into 2019, St. Jerome won. 2020, there was no you know, debate because mm-hmm. of the COVID-19. Then in 2021, her school won, you know, St. Monica's uh, won. St. Monica's won. <laughs> <laughs> in 2022, defending champions in Kumasi High School won. And so which school will win the 2023 edition mm-hmm. of the Love FM High School debates? Well... The balloting took place yesterday. Schools now know their levels, they know their emotions. I know of a school that walked, a, a candidate was to, to a debate actually. She walked up to me and she was like, why prepare college? I am scared. <laughs> and I was like, why, why, why are you scared? Oh, once I mentioned prepare college, you know the school they yeah. So I was like, listen, believe in yourself. Go do a very good preparation. Research well. And anything can happen on the day, mm. you know. Okay. So my panel are already seated. If you join us on Facebook right now, we are live. And we're showing you on Facebook excerpts from the ballot that took place yesterday. So you get to see it for yourself, okay. how the balloting was done. Very fair, very open. All right. If you join us on Facebook, you get to appreciate what we did yesterday. And then you get to know whether your school is in there and whether your school is going to compete with a school that you'll be afraid of or a school that you can have a walkover mm. of. I mean, it's, it's up for you to go there and check it out for yourself. But like I said, I mean, this is going to be the fifth edition of the Love FM High School debate. One lady who has been playing key roles 
in terms of the debate, you know, as Patricia Amabon, so from the zonal competitions and uh, to the main contest and all, she plays a very key role in there. Patricia, you excited? Yes, I am very much excited about the fact that we're going to see another um, competition. We're going to see another debate. We're going to see whether any school that has won it before will get the chance to defend their title mm. or someone else is going to take it away mm. from them. And mm. I think if you've checked for um, the first time we had this um, debate going on, no defending champion has been able to defend their title. Mm. Mm. And so I, I don't know whether we're going to see a repetition of that for this year or some schools are going to cause upsets mm. for any of the schools that are on board. Yesterday, if you remember, you were asking people or you were asking the students or the schools, is there any school or competitor you want to avoid? Yeah. And and a lot of people <laughs> made mention of Premier College. And after the balloting, we all saw how, how, how the pairing became. Premier has been doing so well in the competition. I mean, I think they've been to the sure. final like twice, huh? Yes, yeah. they've been to the um, final the, twice. Um, Who has also been to the finals like twice. Yes. Yeah. Um, Premier met with Simonica's Girls Senior High School and um, hmm. they <laughs> didn't <laughs> win, unfortunately. Uh, and um, last year, they hmm. also met with the Marantia, that's a yeah. Kumasi yeah. High, yeah. and um, it, it didn't it happen for them. Pedigree. It tells you about that pedigree. Absolutely. But tell us about the zonal competition. How, how keen was it? It was, it was, it was, it was very keen. We had so take it from the top. How many schools partook? You know, partook in we it. We had about we had about one hundred and ten schools mm. actually um, registering or showing up for the Love FM High Schools debate, um, the fifth edition. And we had four zones. We had um, Yasantua. We had Adventist Girls Senior High School. We had um, KNUST, and um, also um, which, which which other school? Yes, that's um, Pop G's Prince of Peace Girls Senior High School at South Central. So they were all part of our four zones that we had to print down and get three schools each at the end of um, the, the zonal stage, okay? Because we're looking for 12 schools to add to the already uh, four seeded four. schools, mm. which were um, Kumasi High School, Prempe College, Presek Bompata, and also um, Oti, or say to two. So at the end of it all, it, it was quite keen. There were emotions at play at all of these venues. I must say, it, it told you how much people were interested in getting their schools to the main competition or starting the contest and, and see how they would also show the, the kind of work that they can do or their parents. Mm. So it, it was quite interesting, um, drama. And one thing I realized was that we asked for schools to give us some sort of evidence, if they had, so audio visuals, PDFs and stuff, and people were prepared. They had their stuff on their flash drives. They sat behind the PC. They were like, they, they were playing it and all. I, I'll make mention of um, the contest between St. Monica's and Ghana Muslim Mission at um, Adventist Girls. It was keenly contested. I, I, I kid you but not. But how come, how come St. Monica's couldn't qualify? Hmm. Well, the thing is that St. Monica's hmm. um, lost out on the first I time. Know, on the what happened? What happened? I'm, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't do this. Okay. <laughs> Um, mm. Well, I, I, I think it, it was difficult having to see my, my own school um, <laughs> lose. But the thing is that we got the chance to get uh, get back onto the game because we were the school with the highest losing um, we're, we're the school with the highest losing point. Okay, so like I said, between our, our contest between Ghana Muslim Mission, it was three points difference, yeah. one fifty two as against one forty nine, mm. and so we had the chance to return for the second part, which was going to show, yeah. um, which was going to end in the three schools. But unfortunately, it was a no show for St. Monica's. So no, no, they did no, not no, no, no St. Monica's in this year's competition. No, although we, they we, won, although they won the 2021 yes, edition. They, they're not we, coming. We have some new schools, you know, joining this competition. Barricas say I'm excited for them. Um, it's 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 exciting. I mean, for all the new entrants, mm. new Adubia say like this. I remember the teacher speaking to us prior to one of our interviews when we were doing the zone. I was like, Patricia, we want to do this. We want to show. Um, the schools in our area, what mm. we are made of. Mm. Okay, so when he talks of schools in our, in their area, he's talking of the Adansi area, yeah. Obuase, heading out to all of those places. And so, let me just run through our list. Mm -hmm. uh, run sure, our list ahead, some, of the, some of the new schools because we have Osei Tree in there. Mm -hmm. We have um, the Rich School, 1966 Six. in there. Uh, we have Barakese SHS, like you rightly mentioned. Um, we have um, New Dubiase. New Dubiase Church of Christ. Yes, mm. is in there. Kumasi Wesley Girls. Mm. Kewegehe. Uh, Kewegehe are in there. Um, Asante Man 
is in the KSTS. Yes. KSTS is another new school, you know, in Opal mm-hmm. Memorial. Mm-hmm. Opal Memorial. <laughs> <laughs> Memorial is in there. And like I, I said a while ago, listeners, if you join us on Facebook right now, you see the balloting that took place yesterday. All right. We'll show you how it went. It's it, very free, very fair, very open, yeah. very candid. See it for yourself and get to see how the schools th- themselves reacted, mm-hmm. you know, to it. Eric, you were there as well during the launch and the balloting. And anytime a picture will mount the stage, they'll shake hands, they'll hug, and <laughs> they'll have their own tete a tete. But you kept on saying that, will this happen <laughs> after the contest you know, between the two schools? <laughs> Um, Dave, thank you very much. Um, in fact, when we started the zonal contest, we have same scenes, mm. um, seeing um, patrons from different schools hugging here and there. And after the contest, you see them. Um, <laughs> that is the word fighting, <laughs> and because probably the, the the contest did not go their side. Mm, their way, yeah. You know, their way. Uh, the same thing happened yesterday. Because I realized that they were very cool, but. I was telling them that from Monday um, forward, we want to see same hugs because um, from what they shown us yesterday, it tells that there's this friendship. Mm. So we want to, but the pictures know themselves. They are teachers. They know themselves. They know themselves very, they, very well. Personally, I have a lot of friends from the various senior high schools in, in Ashanti. Mm. But in Ashanti. But last week at um, Zone... Yeah, go on. Yeah. Last week at Zone 3, my own personal friend had a lot of issues with me. In fact, a lot of issues with me um, because of how their contest went. Mm. It, it, didn't, it didn't go. It didn't go their go in their favor. Mm-hmm. So um, he it, it got to a point where um, he he had to um, resort to uh, uh, certain certain words that. that it's just about the. It's just about the words like, it's, no, it's, it's, it's just yeah. about the passion. They have the competition. You get it. They, 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 they are so bent on qualifying, <clears throat> making their school, you know, feel good, having their bragging rights and all that. So if it doesn't go their way, they always feel bad. And that's why I'm happy that Pitata is here, Dr. Pitata is here, our main judge. Because as a judge, he will tell us a few things that maybe people don't understand and appreciate, and that drives them to do the things that they do. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know, so he'll be telling us about it. But are you surprised that we have some new schools making it to the main um, contest? Dave, I'm not surprised. Mm. And that, that, that tells you how competitive this uh, competition is. You see, um, like you said yesterday, we as organizers are not... Um, um, putting these events together to inure to the, the benefit, benefit of certain, uh, like some schools. Okay, so um, if you are from New Edubiase, if you are from Oboase, if you are from Intonso, whichever part of Ashanti, mm. if you deserve to be, be, be part of the main competition, why not? Your performance will take you up there. So what we are looking out for is to uh, for all schools to come and present an argument mm. That is devoid of insult. Um, uh, uh, um, we want to we want to see that clarity in your presentation, so that the judges will have an easy work to do. Mm. All right. So let's 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 let me take it from where you are, you know, landing or where you're leaving, uh, because it has to do with some of the new things that were introduced yeah. to, to make the competition exciting, and 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 better. And that is where Dr. Pitata comes in, our, our lead judge or our main judge. And um, Doc, another season is here, season five. Yeah, prepare for it. Yeah, prepare for it. (laughs) I see. So, before I delve into the new things that we're introducing and all, tell us about the essence of debates. Oh, debate is very, very important for our lives, for our daily lives, for everything that we do. Because um, even if we go to cognitive linguistics, every idea, Mm. all right, Mm -hmm. from the idea you name the ideas and as we name them that is when we have the nouns the verbs and so on and so forth we put them together but then when we put them together the next thing is that we're going to construct what call signs so it's either verbal cue or non-verbal cue now the next thing is how we transmit it or the transferability now in that case i will only take what you are saying when i accept it you understand that? Sure. Uh-huh. And uh, what that means is that in verbal cues, you will say something and 
that is what the court premises all right and then we want to make sure that your claim or your conclusion is based on sound premises and once it is based on sound premises i will accept it mm. so that even in the society one person comes up with an idea and if he's able to convince those around him they pick it and when they pick it it becomes a norm and when it becomes a norm we habituate it mm. and when we habituate it it becomes a culture mm. so even before we get culture there is some form of debate so a debate is making a claim and telling you that this is my opinion but i have proven to you that it is a fact mm. and once i'm able to do that you will take it and you see that in life the lawyer will go to court that's what he does the teacher will go to the classroom that's why he does the parliamentarian will go to the, parliament yes the preacher will that's what he does mm. you journalist mm. that's what you do because every morning yeah. you want to speak yeah. to us you want us to accept it mm. so debate is important just that we have what we call explicit debate that is verbal mm. and implicit that is uh, non-verbal cues mm. uh, you do something and another person does it it is superior you leave what you are doing and you go and do that that person has developed a better way of debating so it's important in everything that tell, we do tell me this how, how tough would you say it is for you judges on the day when students have gone to do their own research works and come and they are addressing not just you but the whole world because we're on television we're on facebook we're on radio we're everywhere and people across the globe are listening how tough is your job i ask this question because there are occasions where people have of the view that no, the, the judge, this judge or these judges did not favor us. They didn't do a good job. First of all, how do you feel about it? How tough is your job? How do you feel about those, well, those comments? It's, it's, it's a bit unnerving, but it's part of human life. Because you see, Dave, when it comes to debate, we are using words. And words are not figures. So definitely, we could be on the same page or we might not be on the same page. Uh, as we move on now, try to break these down. Yeah. That is, we want to make it as objective as possible. But be it as it may, there will be areas that we might differ. When you hear people, for example, say that, ah, no, no, the judge is no, they got it wrong, they got it wrong. What goes on in your mind and what thoughts do you have and what do you want to say about that? I, as a judge, I have my role cut for me. I do exactly that. And once I know that I've done what I need to do, that I have satisfied my conscience, I'm okay. I ask again, mm -hmm. having at the back of my mind, I remember that of last year, one of the competitions, I'm not going to specify which competition it was, but it was a competition that I, I thought a particular school should win. But when I was given the results and I had to announce it, mm -hmm. I realized that a, a different school had won. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how, how is this how possible? This how did this happen? But it tells me that I have a different ear I'm listening to the debate with. I have a different way of processing what they are saying from that of the judges. So I might get it wrong. They might get it right. I don't, sometimes I might get it right. You might get it right. And that is what the debate is all about. Because they score. Things you might see, I might miss. Things I might miss, you might see. So that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah, that is it. Okay. That, yeah, because you see, we certain out there, we use technicalities. Mm. All right? Mm. And if you would allow me, yeah. I'll go into some of the technicalities. Please and I, I think it's good for please, all please of us. Do. Please do. You see, so we, so if, if your school has uh, participated in the past and you thought your school should have won and your school didn't win, you're going to have a better appreciation of what happened by what Prof is going to explain to us this morning. If you, th you have had any thoughts, or somebody has said to you, oh, uh, this is going to, you know, erase that thought for you. So, Doc, please, over to you. Right. We have five aspects. Organization and clarity, argument and development, rebuttals, presentation, and role as a debater. Let my listeners digest that for now. Good. What we have shared. Good. Let them digest that for now. Okay. okay. Once they do the digestion, listen, let's go to Widdy Locks. Now, Widdy Locks is the one place where they sell the very best security doors. And these doors are from Israel. And you know when I say Israel, they understand security. All right? So the doors are from Israel. 
and they have both internal and external doors. Their doors are elegant, affordable, and durable. Now, it has a gladiator locking system, and I'm talking about 13 bolts lock all round into the galvanized steel frame. Their doors do not you know, make noise when you open them or when you close them. There are some people who monitor the movement of people in the home. As whether you're out of the house or whether you're asleep, the <coughs> when you open the doors, you know, tells them that, well, there's some movement in the house or some, something like that. Now, aside from the, the fact that, um, you know, uh, they do not make noise, let me tell you one special thing about the, the, the doors as well. It is specifically coated with powder paint to avoid peeling of paint. It weighs over 60 kg for a single door. Now, it comes in single, single lash, one and a half and double doors. Now, you can also order for a special height doors. Their doors are made of governor steel, so it is rust free. At Weedy Locks, keys are coded with five keys per door, and these keys cannot be duplicated. Now, if you want peace of mind, you want security for your home, your office, the bank, the warehouse, go straight to Weedy Locks to have a door that lasts so long without replacement. Now, there is a special offer for architects, for building contractors, and even real estate developers. Contact them by visiting their showroom at Kwama of the Daban Sokoban Road. Call them or send a message by way of WhatsApp to 050 877 or 0575 With the locks, we protect what matters most. Pro, uh, Doc, let's hear you, sir. Good. So, you see, I'll start with argument and development. Mm. We have 15 marks there. Mm. All right. So, the speaker is able to raise one point and it's not just any point it must be a well-researched point so if we see that it's a well-researched point he gets one mark for that okay all right sure and then he explains the point explains it well gets another point for that and then supports the point now this time it must be properly researched material to support the point gets another mark so we have three marks there, isn't it? Yeah. And then this time, we are capping it up to five points. So five times three? Fifteen. 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 Sure. You understand? Yeah. Good. When you have to develop a point, we expect that you'll be able to, especially the support, we expect you'll be able to give us the source. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Not just the source, but the period, the time, and then the place. It makes it scientific. You understand that? Sure. So sometimes when somebody is speaking and all these technicalities, you, you think that, okay, he's speaking all right. But for us as judges, we are picking certain elements. And we can only give the marks when the elements are there. All right. Then another point is that when it comes to the development, which is the argument, we want to see that your conclusion is based upon sound premises. It's a process. Well, what type of logic are you using? For us, we know. You understand? It could be analogical. It could be um, inductive. It could be deductive. It could be abductive. Now, these are all technical areas that if we want to go into, <laughs> it's, going to, it's, it's another lesson altogether. But we, the judges, we know that this is the kind of argument you are advancing. Mm. This is the kind of logic that you are making. Mm. And then we are more interested in the conclusion. Is your conclusion valid? If it's not valid, we know. And that is when the rebuttal has become very important. Because if the listener is able to see that you didn't land well mm -hmm. and is able to cut you off your feet, then we as judges, we are glad. Therefore, mm -hmm. we give marks For to the other. Yeah, that is so it. it's not like you're watching it on television or listening to it on radio. A lady mounts the podium. She has a very sweet voice. Very fluent. She's very fluent. Or typical pronoun. So you, 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 and you say, like, "Oh, what can I say you into this you win?" Mm -hmm. It's not about. It's not about that. No, it's not about, it's that, not about that because that. that's that's part of presentation. Mm. Where we look at voice and we look at personal appearance and we look at body language and we look at movement and all that. So they all have got their segments and it's like slots. We whichever slots that you belong to, mm. we put you there. Okay. 
Personal appearance, do you have any particular like criteria? I didn't see filthy, filthy mind. But, 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 one of the things, so like, I've been saying all morning that we're introducing a few things, mm -hmm. we're making a few changes, mm -hmm. add ons, and mm -hmm. stuff like that mm -hmm. to make the debate more exciting mm -hmm. and more appreciative this time around. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about timing for this year's debate. Yeah, for the timing, the first speaker used to have seven minutes we've moved it to ten minutes yeah. oh, three extra. yes and then the second speaker used to have uh five, five. minutes we've moved it to seven, seven, seven minutes five. and there's a reason for that yeah. now, and in the conclusion move uh, from three to five three to five and what's the reason the reason is that we want to give them the space enough to perform you know when you are speaking publicly it's performance and uh, when you feel you are hard pressed of time the likelihood that you are going to have a lot of melodrama mm. because of pressure, it's there. And that is why sometimes you have some of these students who come in reciting, rushing, mumbling, and... Singing, and er er rapping. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's rattling or whatever. Rattling. And at the end of the day, we don't hear anything. So we want to extend the time okay. so that they can speak and speak mm. clearly. Okay. okay. That is Audibly. It. Audibly. We need to hear them. Yeah, and exactly. that is why we have added three minutes yes. to the uh, principal speaker's time. Yes. And then added some two minutes to that of the supporting speaker. Good. And then two minutes also to the conclusion. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's one of the new things. Yes. Now, let's... And then, can I, can I, can can I, I come yes, with ahead. some of the... I just wanted uh, to take the one after the other. Like yes. Right. Yes. Another new thing is that this time, when you have finished, the organizers will have to bring back that, that is the judges have presented the marks but the organizers will bring back the marks to the the judges mm. for them to confirm mm. before it's announced up there okay mm. okay so one other thing that we have introduced um, in this yes uh, competition and going forward is there are occasions where we realize that although we have three panel of judges two judges might have scored for a school but a, a third judge's score will be so high, although it's within his max that has been stipulated. It's within it. He hasn't gone beyond it. But it is such that it's high enough to overrule, to rubbish, to make nonsense of the two uh, uh, judges' score. So what, what have we decided to do this time around? Yes, uh, you see, <laughs> this could be very disturbing. When one person decides to shoot off the not intentionally, though. Yeah, not, 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 intentionally. not intentionally, but uh, there's a feeling that maybe there is something wrong with the judgment. Mm. Or maybe he or she might be the right. It depends. But then, in matters where you have three people, mm. I think it's logical to believe that two will be more right than mm. one. Mm. So what we're going to do this time is that we take the two so if two judges score for a school, automatic the school has won. So when I when I have to announce the results, what I'm supposed to do is that we would announce each and every judge's score giving. Yeah, as we do. As we do. Mm -hmm. But this time around, per what is going to happen if two judges score for a particular school? Yeah. No matter how high the no. scores from a third judge. Yeah. It will not override no. the results not as we have all. it. No, not at all. Not at all. And that is why you mentioned a while ago that once the results have been given to Eric mm -hmm. and his team mm -hmm. to do the calculation and tabulations and all that, mm -hmm. before we announce the results, we come back to the judges yeah. and then show you to you mm -hmm. that we have done a calculation. These are your scores given as three judges. Mm -hmm. Two of you have scored for this school. Mm -hmm. One of you have scored for that other school. But the scores are so high, but we agree that listen, two of us say it's for this school. That's what we're going to do. Period. And I don't know. Ah, that, that's it. Okay. Mm. Eric, <laughs> how do you feel about this? I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> if, I think it's fair. Mm. I think um, I think it's fair, fair enough. Because um, if you have three judges mm. and uh, a judge's score over, over rules or over turns that of oh. the two, it's 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 a it's a bit unfair. Okay. And yesterday, when Doug explained to the patrons, I think they were all happy. Yeah. Because in previous editions, 
it had not gone that um, tangent and they were not so happy. Mm. But yesterday when he explained to them what we intend to do this time around, they were all happy and, and they embraced it. So Patricia, does it sit well with you too? I, I think it does uh, for me also because it, it, it takes away that whole drama, hula baloo and stuff that we, we get to experience af after it. The last thing that I, 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 I want any school to do is to undermine the whole process or undermine the judges. It, it doesn't sit so well. Mm. Okay, it's it's not fine. I, 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 but again, I, we cannot blame judges if a judge should score high for a school. Mm. It's about what, what he or she had about, yes, what, and what, what she would want to score. And it's the within debate. the marks that he, he or she is supposed to give. 100%. Yes. Yeah, Dave, no, I, 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 I agree. But if we have to go strictly according to what I am talking about, then mm. it shouldn't be like one judge is just streaming way ahead of the others, mm. honestly. Mm. At least should be slightly above, but it shouldn't be way mm -hmm. above. Because I even didn't talk of organization and clarity. If one of time. Yes, but, time. but 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 let me mention that mm. because your 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 introduction, the way you introduce it, for example, you want to compare two things. And we want to hear you that you are giving the principle of comparison. Mm. That I'm going to compare these two. And these two are going to be compared because they share this element, they share that element. Mm -hmm. That's the principle. Mm -hmm. sure. So we, we want to hear that. So the beginning is one mark. Mm -hmm. And then how you develop. What that I mean point. by developing is that uh, we want to look at your transition. We want to look at your coherence. We want to look at your cohesion. We want to look at how you put things together and we want to look at how you arrange them your priorities we want to see how you the, the merits of the very points that you are discussing and all that it makes it more clear that is what we call clarity mm -hmm. and i want to see how you are landing for every point that so you see that here too every point there is one mark okay mm -hmm. and then so introduction one mark. one mark development or the body another mark conclusion another mark, another mark. so that is the same 15 mm -hmm. marks sure. so if all of us are flowing this way then at least it should not be that one person should be streaking away okay and for those of you uh, we, yeah we know would we'll ask you whilst you're watching us on facebook which school you think is is going to win and all that you might be a student of a particular school or a school might be your alma mater but be fair, having heard some of the explanations given by you know Dr. Pitata here, use those technicalities as your measure of judging. Mm -hmm. So if your students or your alma mater, the competitors are, are not doing well, you should know. And not just come and say, hey, ha, oh, go, 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 Patricia, go, Patricia, you, Patricia. You can't be too emotional. Be, be, because no. Patricia <laughs> is on the podium and speaking very good English and is maybe reading, mm -hmm. it will go against her. Before we talk about the contest that begins on Monday and look at the schools that will be competing from Monday and the motions that they will be, you know, uh, 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 speaking to. Patricia, let's say a big thank you to, you know, our sponsors. Absolutely. But before we even do that, uh, Eric, Charlie, Mrs. Theresa Jackson, the ambassador yeah. Yeah. for the Love FM High School debate. She's an amazing woman and uh, we love Very her to be amazing. Yeah. Ambassador Supremo. Very amazing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And she's from the Jackson Education Complex, huh? Yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> and um, it's, it's not just um, Jackson alone. You know, we're doing this in partnership with um, Pep Student. Mm. Um, we have on board Rasta Chocomo from Trillium um, Industries. We have also Carl Bell uh, Milk, Madam Catherine. Yes, they are all on board. Frital and Fortune Rice from Wilma. Uh, they are in partnership with us. Christian Service University College, as you mentioned, are traditional grounds for um, the debate. And it's, it's also supported by some amazing um, companies and um, Zest Consult. Yes, and when we talk of Zest, I, I think there's, there's okay, a before, testimony. Be, now before, before you even talk about that testimony, uh -huh. Eric, let's talk about the testimony of Mrs. Jackson and what she did. Well, she assured <laughs> some of the patrons, you know, mm -hmm. not some. Oh, that those oh, who the, make the finalists, yeah, the those semi, who make, yeah, the semi finalists, the, the, the semi -finalists yeah. that she'll give them some IT training at her, you know, institution, and um, she's fulfilled, you know, her her, her promise. Absolutely. And the amount she mentioned yesterday is huge. It's very huge. Very huge. If this, uh, the teachers had to pay for 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 that tuition themselves, huge amount of money. So, mommy. Whether you're listening to us or not, in spirits, we are communicating to you, Mr. Charlie. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you very much. Yeah? And that is Mrs. Tudosia Jackson, the ambassador.
for the love of him, high school debate. Yes. And yesterday she gave me a knock, you know. <laughs> Deservedly. I deserve the knock, so I took my, my knock who. <laughs> so let's talk about Zest Consult. Yes, and, and talking of Zest Consult, you know um, our, our finalist from um, last year, that's um, the four boys from Prempe College and also Kumase High, they, they were trained for the SAT where they could get a school outside and uh, we're excited to say that um, we're still working on that for the high school boys but the two boys from Prempe Kalidas and Manuel and Sanusi they got their visas last week and so hopefully by August they should be leaving Ghana to pursue school for um, mm. their education outside and, and they've, they switched, actually they've switched one program to another too. program huh? I know right <laughs> Manuel was reading um, law, law at, at KNUST mm. but then you know he's actually a science student yeah. And he's now going to pursue something in the sciences in the I think engineering, uh, huh? US. Is it yes, engineering? something That's engineering. engineering yeah, yeah. And um, Sanusi is also headed for the University of Kentucky mm. and all. And they were excited. They were at the so Sharif, yesterday. I was just consult, Charlie. Thank you very much. Yes, I mean, he has also redeemed Sharif. himself. Mm. So you get to know that when it comes to the Love FM High School debate, it's not just about you coming to compete, you winning or going to Dubai for a few days or a few weeks. But the there are a lot of opportunities yes. available. For you, so if you're a school out there and you don't come for the preliminaries or you don't come for the zona contest, and you think that you know, oh, our judges are not being fair, mm-hmm. you've, you've heard explanation from our lead judge, and then for those who have won, they they have they're smelling all the way to the bank, like people say. All right. <laughs> so let's say more thanks to, to other sponsors yes, as well. Yes, we, we still we still like to say um, thank you to Pidato Company Limited for supporting us, CBS Industries, um, Top Choco. They are on board. Ultimate Fashions, um, Flora Tissues. Yes, you don't use handkerchiefs anymore. You just use um, your tissue and you're good to go. And it's also brought to you by Otia Sekai Road Bank. Road Bank yeah. um, do not miss Plast. Yes, if you want all the beautiful Turkish doors and Israeli doors. Yes, you go to them. I'm um, Kumasi Auto Detail. I mean, David, l- look at the fact that you're sitting at the reception. They are fixing your car. You can watch it right on the CCTV. Baby, I did span a shed. Baby, I gave two cabbage. And so, of course, some fitting shop. Be we are in for both to be in shop. I'm going to go to the moon. Yeah, and we are going to bring the shower. Hmm. So please go to Kumase um, Auto Detail, Academic City University College. Um, we have New Life for Entrepreneurship Training Center right here at Bomso Top High. Um, Think Positive Travel and Tour. Um, they also operate a real estate agency, Trade Winds. We have One Touch Publications. They come on board with um, economics and also government books, yes, for the best um, senior high schools curriculum and everything. Ghana Herb, they are on board. St. Ben's Jewelry, Dawood Herbal Hospital, ITIL, and all of these okay. people, they, they okay. are supporting. At this point in time, if you have any question, you want to be, you know, you want clarity on anything, give us a call now on 03220 uh, That's at one of our num- uh, numbers. You can also call us on 03220 and 03220 If you have any concern, any question, anything you want to address for you pertaining to the Love of High School debate, call us now. Eric, let's talk about contest that begins on Monday. Yeah. And um, so we did a balloting yesterday. Schools know which schools they are competing with. And of course, they know the motions as well. Run us through the competition that uh, starts on Monday. Okay, so um, the competition proper begins on Monday. And... Um, okay. Yeah, we'll please go ahead. So um, we'll, we'll begin with a say to two SHS. Um, and then I'll say three, three SHS. So that's contest number one contest for Monday. One on Monday at okay. two p.m. Mm. So and it's between I'll say to two SHS. Mm. And then um, I'll say to three SHS. I'll say to two was among the senior the schools. Yes. Yeah. So they were in the semifinals last, last year. year. Yeah. They did very well, didn't they? they? Did very well. And they're going to compete with the uh, say three three. A new entrant into the competition. Yeah. Uh, and the motion is and the, mo- the motion is in today's Ghana choose a craft rather than university education hmm. <laughs> I like this huh yeah <laughs> and I, I I remember vividly when you and I and prof yeah. you know were, were putting together the motions running deep into the night plus Patricia herself we had a lot to say about this didn't we yeah sure. so whether you're for the motion or against the motion you have a lot to say you indeed you have, have a lot to say Absolutely. and then on the 20th on of the 20th. Uh, june that's a tuesday yeah um Prempe college mm-hmm. uh, the rich school 1966 another new school huh <laughs> and uh, like i said one of the one of the girls came up to me and was like we want to talk about proper college we want to talk about proper college <laughs> what's the motion okay so the motion is women should pay less income tax than men. <laughs> <laughs> but you agree? Um, let me agree. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is one this is one that I will really I, 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 I agree. Why? I mean uh, all the uh, bra that's been going on with equality and all these things. I would really like to see how they would digest this topic. Oh, okay. yeah. So, so that that will be on Tuesday. And on like Tuesday. I said, you can call us on zero three two two zero eight three five nine six zero three two two zero eight three five nine seven and zero three two two zero eight three five nine eight. All right. Um, if there's a caller, let's. Okay. So, hi. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning, David Akwere. Chris, uh, and my name is Akwete. Please don't spell my name. Uh, for the yeah. last time, it's Akwete. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Good morning to you and your resource personnel and all that. David, I want to say that the Love FM High School debate um, is a good program. Um, I don't know if you guys are thinking of. Um, I mean, I mean, spreading your 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 tentacles, you know, expanding your coast to the other region to make it national, uh, backed by DS. You see, it it helps a lot. It helps these young ones to study, to research about a lot of things, and then come out and even educate us about it. And then I also want to say that David, you should give them topics that addresses our problem, issues that are affecting our very uh, existence, you know. So as they research into all these things, it will even be an eye-opener to our, to our leaders to, to tackle some of these things. So don't only recycle the topics the previous year. But we we'll hear you. Look at what feedback, is feedback, well noted what and uh, taken. Thank you very much. But if you listen to the motions for this year, we haven't recycled any uh, any, any motion. They are, they are fresh motions. They are fresh motions. motions. But thank you very much, uh, Christoph, uh, for for calling. Kofi's on the line. Hi, Kofi. Yeah, good. Um, uh, the professor in the studio has said so many things about how they give. But my problem is. When the motion is about government policy, the school that speaks for the motion always win. That is my problem. Look at last year when the, the motion of this uh, e levy thing. The school that spoke for the e levy won it. But at the end of the day, the e levy, we have all seen what it has become. So, if I should give, uh, 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 if I should give them one by one the motions that were about the government policy. So, so Kofi, Kofi, hold on for me and listen to this. Hold on, hold on, and listen to this, Eric. Please clarify. Okay, so Kofi, uh, in fact, um, what he's saying is it's not entirely true. Last year, we had a contest between um, Yas and Twa, Twa, yeah. girls, SHS, mm. and um, OT. OT. The motion was about the National Cathedral. Cathedral yeah. And um, surprisingly, the school that was um, for the motion rather won. What? It's not surprisingly. Yeah, OT was, was against the motion. And they won. And they won. won. Yeah. So it's not always yeah. where you come in and say, yeah, when you are for the motion, is about government, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, no, no. Right. So, so that's one thing I wanted to know, uh, Kofi. Thank Hello, you very Dave. much. Dave. 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 Yes. You see, uh, this is the only example that he has given. Kofi, so the point is, we cannot go through all of it. You were saying that it's always the case. We were explaining to you that it's always the case. We're giving you one instance. We can give you several more instances, okay? Thank you very much, Kofi. Erasmus, good morning. Good morning, David. Hi, sir. Good morning. Thank you. I've also been following the whole uh, program. But I think some of the um, contestants when they are speaking, as if they are fighting. You see, it, uh, it, the whole thing is about putting up what you want your listeners to hear. And at the end of the day, people will take something from it. But when you speak as if you are fighting, it makes the whole thing noisy. So I think uh, the, uh, those, uh, the students are to be talked to how they should probably argue their, their points out. And uh, David, I want to use this to welcome my uncle back to Ghana. Uh, probably I will meet him this afternoon when I close homework. I'm well, good. 
Good morning. But so that is why, you know, before every contest, and listeners, yeah. for those of you who follow the competition, it's not like we're boring your ears with the same rules of engagement. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we always have new listeners and, and watchers on television yeah. and on Facebook. So we always give out the rules of engagement. No antagonism, no attacks, no, no insults. No no, we no do insults. all that. Yeah. So if we have done that, and a debater mounts the podium and comes to throw shades, or come to do all manner of things, you don't blame us for it. We give the rules of engagement to their patrons yeah. to prepare their students on. Absolutely. Now, one of the things that we realize, for example, is that they rush. And the feedback is that, oh, because the time is limited. So for now, we've yes. moved it from seven minutes, minutes to ten minutes for the we, principal we, speaker. We're restricting them to do not more than five uh, five points. Points. So that's okay. what we're doing. Let's go through the rest of the uh, competitions coming up, um, America. Our time is so, um, up, okay, so on Wednesday... Um, Kumasi High School, the defending, defending champions, champions. Yeah. Um, will battle it out with Barikese SHS. The new entrance. New entrance. Mm. And their motion is lessons about colonization should be withdrawn from Ghana's education curriculum. Mm. <laughs> hey, Uncle. And yeah. uh, Eric. And, and, <laughs> is that and, no? And that is not. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and I remember when we were debating this one as well. I said, so, so, let's move on. Let's, move on. let's talk about Thursday. <laughs> okay, so uh, on Thursday, um, Presek Bompata, mm. they also semi finalists for last, last year. Last year. Mm. Um, they will be meeting a new entrant, Church of Christ SHS. And their motion is brain drain a blessing in disguise. It, it, it's a question, so brain drain a blessing in disguise. So, yeah. so that's what. It, so, let's talk about Friday, the 23rd okay. of June. And um, Friday, um, um, our contest um, mm, is yes. between New Edubiasi SHS and Kumasi Wesley Girls. Mm-hmm. And their motion is artificial intelligence, AI, is threatening to take over human productivity. Mm-hmm. You like this one too, huh? Leo, you should like this you one. Can repeat, repeat <laughs> okay, so Leo. Um, so artificial intelligence, okay. that is AI, AI, is threatening to take over human productivity. productivity. Whew, that one is a, is a, I mean, it's a modern topic. <laughs> 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 no, that was an arcade topic. I mean, the, the AI is very, very, very recent. Yeah, 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 we are just, yeah, you know, exploring yeah. the yeah. Uh, the potentials of it. So the, uh, this one too is very, very interesting. Very now. All right, so let's talk about Monday the 26th. Monday the 26th, June 2023. Um, Asantimai SHS. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's my alma mater. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Against um, KSTS. And their motion is... Listen to the motion. Uh, our lives have become better through social media. Mm. Okay. So more, more modern topics. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no, we're, not recy- we're not recycling topics. No, 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 not at all. 27th, June. On the 27th of June, um, Anglican SHS Kumasi, that is CAS, mm. against Upon Memorial SHS. Mm-hmm. And their motion is publish properties or estates of all public officials to check corruption. Okay. Okay. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday, June twenty eighth, um, June twenty eighth, um, Asant uh, Asantimai Girls SHS versus T I Amas Kumasi. Yes, Antoine. Yes, Asantimai Girls SHS versus T I Kumasi. T I Amas Kumasi. And their motion is climate change is the greatest threat to human existence. existence. So that's that's yes, Antoine. And uh, who's who's going for that motion? Yes. Yasantua yeah, is oh. for the motion. Yasantua yeah, is for the motion. Is it Yasantua? Yeah, sorry, Yasantua yeah, girls SHS. Yeah. As oh, so I said, uh, yes, I was very confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Why do you say this? This is the alma mater. Okay. So Yasantua. Yeah, so yeah, we, we kept. We wish, <laughs> wish all the 16 schools competing in this year's com- uh, you know, the high school debate the very best. Oh, yes. Yeah. We say a big thank you to our sponsors for showing us love and supporting us, you know, bring out this. Uh, sponsorship still, you know, is open. Oh, yeah, sure. You can call 0244340397 if you want to sponsor. Or you can come to the front desk of Love Nights and Up and Five and engage and tell us, you know, that you want to be a yeah. part of the sponsors. And um, our judges will be coming through in the subsequent days to tell us a few more things. We'll be giving you daily updates yeah. as to what is happening. This is going to be on television, Joy Learning. It's going to be live on Facebook. It's going to be live on radio on Love Nights and Up and Five. So, um, Mama Pat. David. Thank you very much for your time this morning. You're welcome. Um, to you, Eric. If you I know, I, I, I know it, ha- it hasn't been easy. I mean, from the zonals to the stage, it hasn't been easy. So you got to calm my nerves. With yeah, you. <laughs> great job, Dan. 
great job Dan. <laughs> and then of course you Dr. Peter Arthur. Shall I see your Monday, huh? All right. Meanwhile, Syntex is, uh, is a market leader in water tanks in Ghana. Now, with sizes ranging from 100 liters up to 25,000 liters, you are sure to have the size you need for your business or for your home. It's available in many different colors at no extra cost. Syntex has just launched um, a new Syntex Pure Gallon Tank. So the strength of a Syntex tank with an affordable price. Get yours today from Syntex agents nationwide. Now, did you know that Syntex doesn't just you know do tanks? Syntex is your one-stop shop for all your plastic packaging needs. Call them today on 050-555-6666 to find out more. Or you can send a message to their social media at Syntex Ghana. Syntex, are you strong? Are you tough? Now, let's talk about uh, money, 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 money. Now, Charlie, people are winning big on 590 Mobile Jazz by Darling Star 959 Hush. Selecting the game of the day, beat Monday special all the way to Sunday, I said that. But it'd be like, say, boys don't know the rundown. Make I tell you, since you play via Momo, your winnings are paid also via Momo, same day, and this kind of excites a lot of people, and they make the boys they talk too much. So, see, make, make, make I tell you something. That, that girlfriend of yours, eh, when she hears say you win 590 Mobile, she will just come to you, telling you why she needs to go change her hair, buy some new clothes, and buy some bags. she go buy just to sweep your accounts empty. Also, imagine your mother gets to know. She will give half of you know, the winnings to the church harvest and not even speak of your boy's boys, like Leo Stanley. If he gets to know you want something, all the booze for town, you go pay more. So, Charlie, you found, look sharp. No say money changes people, so keep your winnings on a hush hash. Always remember to stick responsibly. Not for persons below the age of 18 years, 519 mobile, and that won't sell. Meanwhile, um, MTN, you know, carrying multiple phones around can be such a chore. They unsightly bulge in your pocket, the extra weight in your purse, the stress of switching from one phone to the other to pay calls, it'll be easy. So imagine being able to switch between different numbers on the same phone easily and seamlessly. Guess what? You can go seamless with MTN eSIM and enjoy the convenience of connecting multiple phone numbers to one single phone. Or device to check if you your device is compatible simply dial star hash zero six hash once you receive an eid number it means your phone or device is compatible simply download my mtn app today to request your mtn eSIM and enjoy the sweet seamless life everywhere you go all right so we are wrapping up and bringing to you some more messages after which we'll bring to you the super morning show now today's conversation is centered on a conversation some Zaladi had with the uh, special prosecutor on news file on saturday we shall bring to you more excerpts from that conversation the my show is on now let's join the feed super morning show. Super morning show. our gloves are off and we are coming against everyone and every person who we think should be dragged in before us. Every person. Everyone and every person. Yes. Who are the persons that have so far appeared before you as far as these matters are concerned? You know something, and this is, this, is, uh, this is very dicey because uh, it's a live investigation. It, it, is, it is still ongoing and sometimes depending on what you put out in public, you might jeopardize uh, the nature of the investigation. For instance, if I say I have directed you to appear before the OSP. Then someone who is your associate may be thinking, oh, they are next. Okay. Yeah. And so because of that, I wouldn't want to go into detail. But several persons have appeared before us already. And many more persons are going to appear before us. See, you know very well that this, this issue is very dear to the nation. And if, if people were paying attention, and I'm very glad that you read uh, uh, our publications way back in October last year, we, we, we made an announcement that we had commenced the investigation. Maybe people didn't take notice, or maybe people didn't take it serious, but we are fighting this, and we are going to see to the end of it. Mm. So, perhaps no names, and we know some of the names, and we'll be sharing them in the course of these discussions, about how many people mm. have been investigated or are being investigated, about how many more, as you said, many more people will appear before you. Mm -hmm. About how many more do you expect you will be talking to? Once again, I can't give you a composite number, mm -hmm. but it is a lot of people. 
to it. You're talking about Galamsey. It is all over the country. So many people are involved in it. And we are looking at the corruption and corruption-related aspects of it. You know, it's not our mandate is not uh, 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 um, uh, 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 at large. Our mandate is in respect of corruption and corruption-related issues. So as for the number of people, they may run even into the hundreds. And as I said, every single person is going to appear before us. The numbers may run into the hundreds, but so far, about how many have you engaged? Let me say tens. Tens. Mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm intentionally being that way. Let me say tens. That, that should tell you that several people have come since October last year. Since October last mm-hmm. year. Mm-hmm. And some even come on their own accord. Without even being being directed to show up, they show up because maybe they think that, uh, for instance, they could be used as uh, whistleblowers mm. or they could be used as confidential sources. But some show up without even being being directed to come. There's there's one of such situation that's already public. We knew of one uh, situation that contaminating. They decided to come without you being in, uh, inviting them or directing, as it were, for them to appear. And I thought the impression was that since you had not invited them you turn them away. No, no, no. No one is turned away. I mean, you see, it will be responsible to turn someone away. You may never know the, the information that the person has. And at the end of the day, you would have to then uh, analyze things and weigh things and examine things as to the veracity of it and the probity value of it and all that. And then what to use uh, uh, the information for and how to treat the person who is bringing the information. So it is, it's, a whole, it's a whole gamut of uh, uh, investigations and uh, you, 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 don't, you, don't have to, you don't have to cover things. You, you mentioned specific issues of the activities and expenditure of the Dissolve Interministerial Committee on Illegal Mining, especially in respect of seizure and management of excavators. We heard about some 500 excavators had been seized and somehow they got, they went missing. Um, many Ghanaians have been really shocked at how such a, you know, a miracle happens. Uh, machinery, road vehicles, gold nuggets, and officials of the Ministry of Lands and uh, Natural Resources, Forestry, and other public officials. What? What break down the extent of this to us? Let's understand when you say excavators and their management, their seizure, vehicles, gold nuggets. What does that mean? You see, there's a history to this. We all know, once again, how this uh, 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 Galamse issue has been such a menace and such a pain to us, and we want it resolved. And we all know that at some point, a certain president set up a committee to deal with this thing which was called the uh, Interministerial Committee Against Illegal, Ill- Illegal Mining. Now, we all also know that at some point, due to the problems associated with it, it was disbanded, it was, it was dissolved. That's right. Mm-hmm. So the problems were still alive and all over the place. Now, in our case, there have been allegations against these officers who, who sat at the, at, the, at the Interministerial Committee. The head of the uh, committee, secretary to the committee and other officers and then the, the dealings of the committee were interfacing with those who were accused of being in in, in the business of uh, or the adventure of uh, illegal mining mm-hmm. and so this is the point we are coming from now if the accusations against you that you seized excavators and you are unable to account for it i won't sleep over it i'll come after you now, if there are allegations against you that you seized gold nuggets belonging to someone, and as a public officer you pocketed it, I won't sleep over it. I'm coming after you. If the allegations that you mismanage the resources of the of the of the committee, I won't sleep over it. I'll come after you. At the end of the day, if I weigh the evidence against you, and I come to the conclusion that there's nothing to it. Then I let go. But in the, in the middle of the investigation, in the course of the investigation, I treat everyone the same. Mind you, at the office of the special prosecutor, we do not consecrate saints. Hmm. 
and let me make this very clear no one is a saint to us no one is an angel as far as we are concerned when we start investigating the case we're looking at everybody and everywhere now you personally as a member of the public you may have your favorites you may have those you think are so good and so so consecrated saints that they become almost untouchable as far as you are concerned i wish i were you to also have the luxury to consecrate someone or some persons as saints in respect of which nothing should be done to them but where i sit i do not have that luxury to treat people as saints and when saints are being consecrated, I don't get the memo. I am the conscience of the nation. I am the spirit of the nation. And the office is the conscience of the nation. The office is the spirit of the nation. Where we sit, we look at everybody in the same manner. How does it happen that a patriot of the stature of Professor Fribon the first, is it African, to have done heart surgery, came back to his country, used his own resources to set up the cardiothoracic center that today no one individual can boast to have done better than he has done. Just uh, yesterday, the German embassy here acknowledged him. They rewarded him. How come that such a man is put under arrest by your office? He's put through interrogation for over two hours or so and he's not deserving of self-recognizance bail people can't understand that he has become our hero in this country as far as the fight against galamse is concerned i'm saying i respect the credentials of the professor and i drop off my heart to him you know very well you know me personally you know very well how how, and my life's trajectory. And, uh, on another score, I'm an academician myself, and so I, 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 I respect such people. On all scores, I mean, his CV is unbelievable. I respect that, and I applaud him for that. But I have a charge to keep. The charge I have to keep is to the Republic of Ghana and to the public. I have been put in this position to investigate corruption and corruption-related offenses. I've been put in this office to prosecute people who I deem to, 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 to be culpable for such offenses. I have been put in this office to recover assets for the country. I have been put in this office to prevent corruption. These are the four tasks that I have until, I guess, 2028. Now, when a case comes before me, first, it's a plenary investigation. I go under with my officers. Is there any substance to this matter? I'm answering your question. I'll come to you. Sure. Is there any substance to this matter? Now, when the plenary investigation is over, I have certain options. One option is to say, there's no meat in this matter. Uh, let us just file it away. Maybe one day it may not be pulled. Another option open to me is that there is a lot of wisdom in opening a full investigation, and so we should do a broader and fuller inquiry into this matter. And this is where we are in terms of the fight against Galamsey. Now, when you're appearing before us, depending on what we deem to be the charges we are envisaging against you. Depending on the nature of the evidence and what we deem to be the seriousness of it, we take action appropriately. I will state again, the public and any member of the public has the luxury to consecrate saints. But in consecrating your saints and your heroes, Mind you, again, I'm stating again, I am your conscience. I am the spirit of the nation and the office uh, stands for that. 
in the estimation of the office, there are no saints. In the estimation of the office, there are no heroes. Now, if I approach this job of fighting corruption, that there are some persons in the society who have attained the status of sainthood, we will lose the fight against corruption. I think if the argument is not that I'm coming there. I'm coming. The there. argument is not that don't investigate such people, yeah. but your approach yes. would be different. Yes, I'm coming there. I'm coming. If Professor Frimpong Boateng cannot attract self recognizance bail, who else in this country will be deserving? You see, it is coming back to what I keep saying. You have your saints. I don't have saints. In your estimation, the man is a saint. But from my angle. I treat no one as a saint. A lot of allegations, a lot of complaints. I am investigating a broad gamut of issues when it comes to Galamse. The professor was the man in charge of this dissolved committee. The committee, as far as we are concerned, and the nature of the investigation we are we are we are we are, uh, are engaged in right now. So the committee was at odds and they couldn't account for so many things. Now, if you sit where I sit, it's not everything that I can reveal at this stage. If you sit where I sit and you take away the emotions from it and you, you examine the issues before you, you have some very painful pills to swallow. And you may offend people. Mind you, you remember the La Bianca case? Mm. It was such a fury. As if I killed someone. Because one of the persons involved was a member of the Council of State. And it was on head of that was a member of the Council of State. And what am I doing? You remember, chiefs in a certain uh, uh, um, traditional area sat and vilified me. As if I was Satan's son himself. Because this? obviously she's a financier of some of these chiefs. She has built uh, mansions I, there. I, 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 I wouldn't know them. that. But mm. from my estimation, I'm 